you go, good girl. So this is little Miss Rose, and um, David here has been uh, raising Rose. So a lot of you guys have been asking about the, uh, you know, Mamba's sisters and how the other babies are doing. So this is one that was raised by David, and um, so today we're going to teach her to catch fish in the aquarium, and I'm going to be teaching David a little bit about weight control, weight management with uh, training and me. So one thing you want to do is it's important to have an idea of what your mink weighs. These guys are fully grown now. These babies are uh, 17 weeks old tomorrow. So they're not going to grow anymore. So now we can start their weight management and um, basically we want to keep their weight an appropriate amount. We don't want them too fat. We don't want them too skinny. And when they're little, you kind of have them a little bit too fat just because they're growing. Now that she's an adult, she needs to have her weight managed a little more carefully. And she's not used to this, so she's wiggling way more than she should. So actually the easier way is to weigh the cage first. Go ahead and grab her, David. So the easier way to do this is you zero it out on the cage. So now when we put her in, it's just her weight. So she's a thousand ninety one. Let's try that again. See if she'll hold still. Confirm that weight. Thousand ninety three. So now David's going to be recording this weight, and we're going to weigh how much we're feeding her, and see if she loses or gains or maintains weight based off of the amount you fed her. So he's recording that in his phone. I'm going to weigh the meat. Okay, so I'm gonna estimate based off of her size, she needs around, oh, probably 90 grams or something like that. So I'm gonna move the meat off here so she's not wiggling it. So I think she needs a little more than that. David says she's eating a little less, so maybe we'll do 80 grams. So I'm going to weigh out 80 grams, and we'll see what she does. Does she gain weight? Does she lose weight? Does she maintain it? And um, based on her reactions, we're going to either drop her weight. If she's acting like she's not hungry and she doesn't really care about food, we'll drop her weight a little bit. If she acts a little bit too hungry, a little too anxious, we'll raise her food, raise her weight a little bit. And basically, we want to find that happy medium where she's got a good active food drive, but she's not like desperate. Has she fished before? Yeah, she's done a little bit of fishing. Mm. So, little Miss Rose is a lot less experienced than Mom Butt when it comes to this. So we're starting her out easy. And um, it'll probably take a little bit of exploring before she starts anything. She'll start, there she goes. Good girl. Sure you shut the gate so she doesn't sneak out. There she goes, she got one. Can you get the blocks ready? There you go, good girl. Give her a little hunk of meat here. Let's see if you can tease her back so she's not eating on the fish. I'll give you another chunk of meat if you need it. Oh, you got it. Good job. She's coming out. She's out there. 
Good job. Give her another piece of meat. I'll get this fish out of the way. Good rose. Okay, perfect. Now let her go back in and get another one. There you go, good girl. Good girl, here's a meat. Good girl, Rose. Good job. Good girl, Rose. And then, here, I'll take it for you. Good job, Rose. You think she wants another? Let's see how she reacts. Let's see if she'll do one more. I think she'll do it again. And then I think we'll feed her up, depending on how she reacts. So one thing we got to be really careful is be observant. As we want to make sure she's still enjoying this. If she's wanting to quit and feed up, we got to feed her, because we don't want her to feel like we're stealing stuff from her. She wants this. We want to keep this fun. We want to keep this positive. The minute it starts to become work and she's wanting to quit is when we've gone too long. She's going after. You. But Rose has given every indication of wanting to continue, so we're going to let her keep catching fish. Oh, good, good job. Girl. Good girl, Rose. See, she's looking for her box. Good girl. Good job. You think we should feed her? What are you feeling? I'll do one more. Do one more. Looking like she's enjoying it. Okay. I'm gonna toss this in there. Oh, good girl. Oh yeah, she's definitely anxious to do another. That was a good, good call on your good part. Good girl. Good Mink. There you go. Feed her up. And good steal girl. the goldfish out so she doesn't try and eat it. Here you go. Eat. <laughs> Make sure she wants to. If she's want, if she's wanting to keep the goldfish, don't don't make her feel like you're taking it from her. Yeah. Okay. Now she's eating the meat. There you go. You have to be kind of sly about it. She's very trusting of you, so you don't want to ruin that trust. She's very very trusting of you more than yeah. thing is of me. So you want to make sure we keep that trust going. She's very trusting of you. You've done an excellent job, David. Thank you. Very very trusting. She's like basically willing to hand it to you, and that takes a lot of trust on on the part of a mink. So you've done an excellent job. We'll keep filming these, we'll do each day, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy them. We'll, you'll get to see Rosa's progression from this, where the water's just, you know, a few inches, all the way up till it's full, just like we did with Mamba.